Welcome back YouTube. I'm gonna be making some videos for the matchups, item builds, and runes for Darius to finish my guide. This video will cover runes. Now, there is a disclaimer. This is my way of making runes, so if I missed something out, it's because I don't like the tree. Now, the confirmed runes that I run on Darius rotate between precision, improved sustained attacks, sorcery, empowered abilities, and resolve durability and crowd control now resolve is probably the most hated rune for me i don't like it because it doesn't have damage and i kind of want to deal damage so things don't fit i don't take resolve because i want to but because i have no choice these uh, runes they're not everything but that's not to say that domination and inspiration are bad it's just I'd say they're experimental. Many runes are also experimental, even though I called out the, the tree, such as Precision, Lethal Temple. For example, Conqueror is suitable for everyone, but Lethal Temple is only suitable for a portion of players. Anyway, that's the intro, so let's dive in. Okay, so the purpose of agility is for you to be able to move and swerve as much as possible. Tenacity and move speed are core to be agile, hence the name of the page. If you want a representation of what I mean by this, you have phase rush to break from a slow and start moving fast. Nimbus Cloak is so that you get some movement speed after one reset to help you engage on the next target. Celerity, as well as gaining more movement speed, you gain damage based on how fast you're moving. Gathering Storm is a personal pick. I like the damage it can offer. I don't like Scorch because it, it's a once in a while damage rune and uh, I don't like water walking because not all fights are in the river. Gathering Storm follows you everywhere. Your entire kit is helped by Gathering Storm. Even if it's only 10 minutes, it, it, and it gave you 5 AD. Resolve is here because you'd be taking this entire page if you're in a bad matchup. Second Wind is the best thing in this tree, and the next best thing is probably Unflinching or Revitalize. Some people don't think Tenacity is important, but I value it, so I would take Unflinching. A quick summary. This rune page is for those who are unable to reach their opponents or escape them. You value movement speed above all. What you are losing is the resets potential and the fluid stacking just by taking precision. The purpose of brutality is for damage, just damage. It's so that you do the maximum damage possible with AD coming from sorcery and conqueror. You'll see many damage sources, hence the page being named Brutality. Conqueror gives opportunity to easily duel so many champions. It also turns a portion of your damage into true damage, so basically it makes killing tanks even easier. Triumph is the most Noxian rune made, so there's no question. You, you can choose between tenacity and attack speed, but I prefer tenacity since I don't have unflinching. Last stand is a personal choice. I prefer it because it helps with outplaying opponents in a numbers disadvantage. Sorcery is for the late game scalings. Celerity and Gathering Storm are my choices. Celerity because your movement speed is too important and Gathering Storm is for your 30 plus minute kills massacre. Okay, so the quick summary is the rune page is for dealing the most damage possible whilst still being able to duel other bruisers. You value damage above all. The laning phase is an important part of the game and resolve makes it makes winning it or just breaking even easy. Without it, things can turn south very quickly. The next two pages are uh, kind of work in progress, but they're sensible, so I thought I'd uh, add them in. Okay, the first one is Super Darius. It, it is really situational, but I think it works with the right player. Its purpose is all about your resets, your multiple kills, your pentakills, etc. It's fully offensive and you are looking to kill not only who's in front of you, but everyone grouped behind that target. 
You take phase rush but plan to QE or execute someone so that when they die, your Noxian might phase rush Nimbus Cloak will proc. Celerity is to make the most out of the burst of incoming movement speed by increasing it and converting some of it into damage. Gathering Storm is for obvious reasons. Triumph is the most important rune in the page because it works off resets and so does Coup de Gras. Quick summary is everything combined is to favor your reset players with damage and mobility. You value resets above all, however you will lose the durability and the safe laning phase by skipping resolve. I just came up with this one recently. If you want to go damage but have a harsh matchup this maybe could work. To be honest I still need more experience with it but uh, it seems like a solid idea. Fleet footwork is to replace Doran Shield's second wing combo with the longsword refillable start and a vamp scepter first back. It should give you sufficient sustain comparable to Doran Shield second win. Triumph is obvious, tenacity and attack speed has already been said, last stand is still my preference and the sorcery tree doesn't change. So the quick summary is this is to still potentially build offensive without having to take resolve and waste gold on Dorna shield. You value sustain above all. Resolve falls off which is why I try to replace it, however this has its own drawbacks such as it's not conqueror which means it would have given you the damage you needed when you're fighting other duelists. If you die you may not even get the 550 gold to buy the vamp scepter first so this may not even be worth it uh, if you make enough mistakes. Now the last one is pretty much the casual, the meta one. Its purpose is to fit what a juggernaut is, do damage and last for a while. Conquer is obvious, just like Triumph and Lost Stand, Alacrity is for an easier time to stack your passive, then there's Resolve to make him durable. Everyone usually takes Bone Plating and Second Wind or Chrysalis. I would go Second Wind uh, unflinching because there's no tenacity in the page right now and Bone Plating and Chrysalis I don't I just don't like them. I don't think they're worth it. So a quick summary is you have some damage coming from Precision and durability coming from resolve. What you're leaving behind is the late game scalings and the mobility that comes with sorcery. This is my least favorite rune page. Okay, let's move on to personal preferences. Transcendence can potentially give you 20 plus AD depending on the build, but celerity gives you valuable movement speed paired with an all game stats rather than a uh, after laning phase stat. I value tenacity, so if I can take it, I will. I also value late game above all because I don't like getting outscaled. I took away grasp because I don't like it anymore. I think the same with aftershock. Predator is still experimental as soon as I find a method of using it and then I'll probably switch over. Halo Blade sounds promising but I still need to perfect the page. Kleptomancy was good when the tank meta was a, a thing but now if you're picking it against the bruiser they're just gonna kill you with a conqueror. Glacial Augment, it sounds good but it does not work against top lane meta picks anymore. It just doesn't. Spellbook is something I haven't tried. I'm probably not gonna try it anyway. Electrocute sounds good as long as you proc as long as you don't proc it on a shield or bone plating. Breast the attack is fine, but why take this when Conqueror exists? That'll be the room section. Soon I'll be uploading the matchups video and I should finish off the guide. Now I would do the item sets, but that's something like you have to go a little bit in depth. But to save your time, I'm not going to go in depth with them, I'm just gonna uh, show you a little bit of what it is. Real starting items are here, you mix and match. This is my build over here, and this is the build that you're gonna use for the Super Darius room page. And the last one here is the build for everyone else. Each build has Black Cleaver because that's your core item. Sterex is the same thing. It has to have at least one 
of each resistances, so armor and magic resist. So a Spectre's Cowl item and a Warden's Mail item. Mostly it's gonna be Thorn Mail and Adaptive Elves. The last uh, item is really situational, it's all up to you. I normally go Mercurial Scimitar because I still want to do that play. Anyways, that will be the end of the video and I'll catch you in my next one.